Hi guys, welcome back to my I'm a Celeb series. For anyone new here, my name is Alana and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. As it is Valentine's Day, I felt a little bit inspired. So I decided to pick my favourite character from my favourite ever romance movie, which is of course The Notebook. I feel like if you don't love that movie, I just can't help but be like, what? what's wrong with you? I'm a stupid woman, I shouldn't have come. That is literally, it's, it's the best movie ever. I absolutely love, love, love it. So, what I want you to do is I want you to comment below your favourite romantic movie because I'm just going to binge watch loads of romantic movies over the next few days because, like I said, it's Valentine's Day and I'm not really like, I don't watch a lot of romance movies but I absolutely love them. So, let me know your favourites below so I can have some awesome recommendations. I'm going to create one of Ali's hairstyles from The Notebook. So, this is a little bit different. Usually, I choose like a celebrity whereas I'm actually actually choosing a character this time. Yeah, I thought this would be a little bit fun. It's a bit of like a vintage hairstyle. And because I haven't released a Dyson Era video in quite a few weeks now, I decided I would recreate this look, of course, using my Dyson Era. I know that a lot of you will be very happy because you all love my Dyson Era tutorials. And um, play this hairstyle I recreate, it may inspire you to recreate it for your little date night on Valentine's Day. So let's get started. So guys, this is actually a really good tutorial because this is another hair tutorial that hopefully will inspire you to recreate hairstyles in between your washes because it's been six days now since I've washed my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my parting because her, her parting is over to the side in this hairstyle. So it's actually sometimes quite hard to do this because usually whenever I want my hair parted a certain way, I'll dry it that way. But this is actually quite good because we want a little bit of volume with this hairstyle. So because I will be moving a bit of my hair over, it's actually gonna help create a little bit of volume, which is quite good. So guys, I think that is parted about right. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to get your smoothing brush attachment. So if your hair is perfectly straight and you don't have any kinks up in the roots, you don't need to do this, but I have a few kinks that I want to just straighten out a little bit. So I'm going to spray a little bit of water on my hair. And I'm really just wanting to do this like kind of to the roots of my hair. Then I'm gonna spray a little bit of heat defense. My Lee Stafford one that always like, this is what I love about this heat defense that it smells so good. So sometimes even in between like washes, if I feel like my hair isn't smelling very nice, I'll actually just like spray loads of this over my hair and just let it dry in even though I'm not styling my hair because it just smells so good. You want to make sure whenever you're doing this that you place the brush under your hair, not on top because you don't want to flatten your hair. You want to create as much volume as possible. So even if you don't have any kinks in your hair, it may still be worth doing this just to help create a little bit of volume. Go! See guys, that has really helped create like a little bit of volume, especially on this side that was quite flat to my head. So the next step, you're gonna remove your smoothing brush and you are gonna put on your thin barrel. So the thinnest barrel you have will be best in creating this look. And unlike whenever we usually curl our hair and we want to have the arrows pointing away from our face, with this look, we want the arrows pointing towards our face. So you're going to take a section of hair and I'm gonna spray some water because we need the hair to be a little bit damp for it to curl. Just gonna dampen that. I'm gonna spray a bit of heat fence. And you're gonna put it on high heat, high speed, and we are going to curl this hair towards our face. Guys, 
to help create this look you are going to need a handful of bobby pins what we're going to do with this curl is we're going to twist we're going to pull it out to create a bit of a puff and you're going to pin the hair and then we are going to repeat that step with the front section of hair but you want to take this front section and you want to leave this so don't grab the whole thing so there's no hair you want to just take the front section and leave this bit So you're then going to get another bobby pin and you're going to do the same thing you're going to twist this and you're going to pull it you're going to secure it with a bobby pin i'm just going to pull it out a little bit so we are then going to take this piece of hair that we left out. Again, spray some water and we're going to curl towards our face, high heat, high speed. Because I want this curl to be a little bit thicker, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tease so it's a little bit thicker. And again, you're just gonna sweep this up and you can use a different bobby pin or you can use one of your other bobby pins to push it in. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take the rest of our hair and we are going to curl it. So I'm just gonna pull one piece forward at a time. I'm gonna spray with a little bit of water and you are going to curl your hair towards your face. Okay, so guys, now that you have this side of your hair done, we are going to move over to this side. I am going to just tease the root a little bit to add a little bit more volume. There we go. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take the front section of your hair and you're going to twist it away and poof it forward like so so that you add a little bit of volume you're going to add a bobby pin to clip that in place then we are going to change the barrel because again we want the barrel that on this side the arrows are going towards our face and we're just going to do the same as we did on this side and we're going to start curling our hair towards our face. So guys, that is the hair complete and we are going to finish off this look by adding a little bit of red lippy because, well, it's Valentine's Day. There we go ladies, that is the look complete. I hope you enjoyed this quick little easy hair tutorial and 
I hope it inspires you to go for something different this Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching and if there's any other celebrity hairstyles you would like to see me recreate, please make sure you comment below and I will see you next time.